And I believe education freedom is the civil rights issue of the 21st century. Every child, regardless of race, regardless of ethnicity, regardless of wealth, regardless of zip code, every child should have a right to have access to an excellent education. And so what are the Democrats trying to do? They're trying to fear monger. They're trying to convince the people of Oklahoma, well, you know what? If we put parents in charge of education, if we defend education freedom, it means they're going to shut down rural schools. There's a technical word for that, and that's called a lie. I'll tell you, Oklahoma, like Texas, we got a lot of rural counties. We got 254 counties in Texas. We got a lot of rural communities. We got a lot of rural schools. And I'll tell you what, Kevin Stitt, as I do, stand with the farmers and ranchers and the rural men and women of America. And the Democrats think we're stupid. They think, oh, oh, okay, they're just going to shut down all the schools. No, you morons, you're the ones who shut down the schools. We're the ones who open up schools. This is a fundamental battle, and people are seeing it. Look, in, in the state of Virginia, we saw a precursor to this battle in the state of Virginia, Loudoun County, Virginia, a 15-year-old girl was sexually assaulted in the girl's bathroom by a boy wearing a skirt. And the school lied about it. The school hid it. They cared so much about their political ideology that they took the sexual predator and they transferred that boy to another school where he sexually assaulted another little girl. And the parents went to the school board meeting and they spoke up and the school board sat there and lied to him and said it has never ever happened that a boy dressed as a skirt has sex sexually assaulted a little girl. And the father stood up. And for all the fathers in this room, I want you to imagine this was your daughter. He stood up and said, my daughter was raped in your school and you're lying about it and covering up. And what did they do? They didn't protect the child. They didn't arrest the predator. They threw the father on the floor. They handcuffed him and they arrested him. And what followed after that was Joe Biden's Justice Department sent a memo to the FBI directing the FBI to target parents, to target moms and dads as domestic terrorists using the Patriot Act. Now here's the good news. A whole bunch of moms in Virginia noticed. By the way, Virginia saw the same battle lines. You had Terry McAuliffe, the Democrat, stand up in the debate and say, parents have no business saying what's taught to their kids in the schools. And what did McAuliffe do? He went and campaigned with Randy Weingarten, the architect of shutting all this down. Virginia, Biden won Virginia by 10 points. You know what happened last year? Virginia elected a Republican governor because the moms said enough is enough. So Oklahoma is not going to be fooled. It's not going to be deceived. It's not going to be lied to. It's not going to vote for a Democrat who willfully inflicted this on kids. And by the way, people understand they're being lied to. You remember the ridiculous theater of masks? Remember the rules, when you walk into a restaurant, you must wear a mask. Why? Because of science. Until you sit down. In which case you take your mask off and it's all fine. Why? Because of science. And actually I, actually, I got a theory on this, which is the COVID virus 
reacts to altitude. <laughs> At six feet, it is deadly, run, hide. At three feet, it is harmless and a tonic for regrowing the hair. <laughs> By the way, that's why Fauci's safe. He's only five feet tall. <laughs> but everyone knew this was nonsense. These rules made no sense. And of course, what did the Democrat do? Say all the kids need to wear a mask. Enough is enough. So y'all are on the fence here. <laughs> All right, I'm going to say two final things. Number one, early voting starts tomorrow. I want to ask everyone here to come out and vote for Kevin Stitt ten times. Now look, we're, we're not Democrats. I am not urging voter fraud. I saw two reporters pull out notepads. Ooh, urging multiple felonies from the stage. Let me tell you how you do that. You make sure you show up either in early voting or on election day. And when you leave tonight, you pull out your cell phone and you scroll through your contacts and find nine people and send a text to nine people. Send a text to your sister. Send a text to your next door neighbor or your coworker. Send a text to your son. Say, listen, this election matters. It matters that Oklahoma remain a beacon for freedom. It matters that we not destroy the oil and gas industry. It matters that parents be in charge of their kids and not left-wing Democrats who think kids are their property. And you tell them, I know this man. And let me tell you right now, if you get nine other people to show up and vote who wouldn't have voted otherwise, you just voted 10 times. In November, we're not just going to see a red wave, we're going to see a red tsunami. Yeah. 